Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're here just to find out how you can start your basket business. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily, right now, today, which is um, about two weeks away from Valentine's Day, I'm going to show you how you can put together some stuff to go ahead and get you some money this Valentine's Day season. So I've been getting um, DMs, comments, stuff like that. And a lot of people are inspired by me to go ahead and start their basket business. But it's also saying, you know, I'm, I am, I am, I'm not going to make it for this Valentine's Day. I do have to wait till maybe Mother's Day and start or, you know, stuff like that. And I have had someone that did say that, you know, it was because of financial reasons. So just keep hearing that same situation. I wanted to get out here and let you all know that you can right now within you you still have almost uh what three weeks, however much is left, you can go right now and start your basket business and make some money for Valentine's Day. I know everybody is seeing us with these big old hauls and expecting like, well, I don't have the funds to just go out there and spend all that money like that. And I understand that. It it, it wasn't, you know, I started from something somewhere to it what I'm trying to say but um, it wasn't always where I can just walk in and buy whatever I wanted to buy I have had to do what I am about to tell you all that you can do to start this business so first of all hopefully you can have at least $200 to invest into this basket business and that'll get you started with $200 when I get finished breaking it down that $200 is going to make you $1,000. But take away the $400 that you're putting in it. Okay? You're going to put two in it. And then you're going to make $1,000. Because out of $200, I'm going to make it where you can make 20 baskets. Well, 10 baskets. And then when you flip those, you can go back and get 10 more. All together with both of them, you're going to make $1,000. So off of that first $200... You're going to make profit $350 once you put your money back for what you've already spent out. Then you're going to take $120 of that and reinvest in some more stuff to get the rest of the basket done to get you the rest of the money. And it can be easily done. Now the thing is, um, well I don't have $200. If you don't have $200, um, you, I'm sure you have a, a bill that's sent to the side that you haven't paid or are about to pay that can probably be held back for a second to get this money. And I'm not saying, you know, what if I spend this money and then I don't get it back? You not out there hustling enough if you can't get these 10 baskets, 20 in all sold to get you some money in your pocket for Valentine's Day. I hope you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. So I just um, felt a little bit bad about the people that was in my dm and like they didn't have the funds i know you can't if you can't go out there and do them big hauls like that it's still a way that you can get this money okay so first of all we're gonna start with 20 baskets off the real the main things you need is the shrink wrap paper the baskets and stuff to put inside of the basket that make the basket look valuable we're going to base these baskets that I'm trying to get y'all started off of with $50 a piece, okay? But again, everybody's state is different. My $50 in my state might not be your $50 in your state. Your state, $50 worth of stuff might be two items. My state, $50 worth of stuff might be 10 So I am trying to get people to understand that your state might be able to sell this basket for 100 but in my state, it's not going to fly. It just, you know how your state is and how much stuff costs. It's just like... A bit mac meal here can be five dollars but somewhere else is ten so you know the cost of living is different and you should know by that how much you should charge for your baskets um for me i look at what i put into it and i also mainly everybody's saying i can't figure out my price they can't figure out their price but with me i look at it as if i'm here in atlanta and i know what i would pay i know what my friends will pay i know what people pay for stuff around here i know what they look at and say no that's too much or that's not enough so being that if you know enough like that in your state 
or you have been around enough sales, you'll know how much you can charge for a basket. So I would say, okay, I put twelve dollars in there. If I want to three and a half times it, then I want at least sixty dollars. Or you can look at it and say, well, shoot, it might be worth sixty dollars, but I know I can sell it for eighty. And that's what I go off of. But I have my bottom line. If I put eighty on that basket and I get out there and somebody want it for seventy. I know that my bottom line was already $60. So, yeah, I could sell it for $70. I can actually sell it for $60 and make the profit that I wanted from the top. So, my mindset, I play around with my numbers. I have that one set price, and I always have what I'm willing to go down to. I can look at a person's face and tell if they want the basket, but they feel like it's just not enough in it, or they want the basket and they don't have enough money. How I can figure that out... Um, I guess being in the t-shirt business for so many years and dealing with so many different people, I can kind of check a person's pocket of uh, a uh, mentality off of their expressions, they words that they say, stuff like that. And I did that for like 17 years. That take time to be able to figure stuff like that out. You know, it's I'm just different. I don't know. I can tell. But either way it go, um, we gonna base these off of $50 a basket. So we're going to take $200. We're going to take the shrink wrap bags that are in my uh, description, the link. Like if you, if you look at the name of my video, click more. You can scroll down to where it says shrink wrap bags. You can get 20 for $17.41. They're $15.99, but with shipping, it comes up to $17.41. They come in a couple days or next day, something like that. But it's real fast. Boom. That's the first thing that you need, your shrink wrap bags. The second thing that you're going to need is your baskets. And I'm basing this off of 20 baskets. But because of the stuff that we're going to put in it, we're only going to be able to buy 10 to sell the first 10 first. We really don't need the 20 baskets up front. We can settle with 10. But if you go and do your 20 baskets at $125 at Dollar Tree, that's $25. Plus tax, just round it off to about $28. If you're getting your Dollar Tree and they don't have any Valentine's Day baskets, wing it out. Do what I do. Pick some colorful little baskets. You don't see in my other videos. I want to try to grab one. But just pick some colorful baskets. Use those. Okay? So, boom. We have our 20 shrink wrap bags and we have our 20 baskets. And the way I'm, reason I'm starting at 20 is the 20 bags at $15.99 is the best price point because they do have it where you can buy 10. You just get more. A couple more dollars, you get the whole 20. So that's why we're starting it off at 20. But we don't have to start the baskets off at 20. I just want to already get that out of our budget within that $200. The next thing would be, I like bells and everything I do because I feel like it brings the basket out. And most people look at it like, oh, we got a bear in it too. I've heard that a couple times. So we're going to do 20 bells. 20 bells at Family Dollar. Family Dollar has them for a dollar. Today is Saturday, which they have a $5 off coupon on Saturday. All you have to do is download the Family Dollar app, make an account. If you already have an account, just go ahead and cl click the $5 off $25 coupon. So, we still going to get, we're going to get 25 bags actually, but we only paying the price for 20 <clears throat> So, that's five extra bags. I didn't even count that in when I was doing my calculations. So, we're we going to end up with 25 bags. Or we can just still get the 20 bags and take that extra $5.00. Go to the party section, buy some um, tissue paper or some bags of shredded paper. I think Family Dollar does have the little dollar bags of shredded paper. That's what we'll do with those free $5. That way we don't have to worry about getting some tissue paper or some shredded paper. We'll get those for free. So, boom, we got our 20 bags at Family Dollars for um, $20. We paying $25, getting that $5 also. And all we're going to spend about $22 with tax, $21.60, something like that, because I was 8% up here in Georgia. Next thing we're going to do, we need to go to Dollar Tree and get eight things. Well, not eight things. We're actually going to get 80 things, okay, because we're doing 10 baskets. We're going to start off with these 10 baskets, and then we'll go back and flip it after you sell these 10. So, we're going to get eight things that can go in these baskets. I'm going to show you some stuff that I can put in my basket. So, if we get eight things at 125 I mean, um, we get eight things at one twenty-five. That's gonna range us out to about ten dollars a basket. So we're doing ten dollars each basket we're doing, and then we spending eighty dollars. Okay, so we're doing eight, um, eighty things in all. No, it's eight times ten. Yeah, eighty things in all. Okay, so 
they have these is it yeah focus now camera they have i get one of these for each basket you gonna need at least 10 of these i love to see these in a basket y'all know i can't i can't help myself with these doors i love these doors why is it not focusing right act right camera 10 of these so in every basket we put one of these one of these we don't have to but i just like the dove for some reason i just like the dove we gonna get eight of these i'm saying eight but it's actually eight times tens we're doing 80 so we're gonna need 10 okay we're gonna get these different colors if you want once you start pulling your stuff out and matching them together that's gonna make your basket this is another thing they got at dollar tree okay it matches with this so that's one two three items all three of these match put that with it that match too okay and then that dove that's gonna match so right there that's four items that i just showed you one two three four five that's five items with this make six we already included our bear with the dollar family dollar items so we have six items. We need two more that you can find somewhere in there to put in these baskets. You can get these, a body brush. <clears throat> you can get a sponge. Two more items, and this will match that basket real cute. But you don't want all 10 to look exactly like, so pick some stuff out, mix the colors up, do some purple ones, do some pink ones. You know, mix your basket colors up but get some stuff in there um i'm not sure if they had these but they did have them in a cup that was purple and blue something like this they do have them in a cup that's purple and blue um this is just another example of this set that matches so like this one and that one go together this one and this one go together what did i just did i just mix that I did this one together and this one together now I went to my Dollar Tree I mean my Walmart yesterday they still have these for 25 cents you can get um what for eight ten of these for two dollars put them in each basket okay uh, what else we got they have these but we want to get stuff that looks kind of big or looks kind of that's going to fill up this basket. Okay? But we already only had six items in here. And that's it. We still got two good items we can put in here. Once we put that together, put that um, tissue paper, the shredded paper, sit that stuff off of there. The next thing that we going to get is... Hopefully you all have a bath and body works that you can just go into a mall and they still have some of them scents in there, which they're probably fall scents inside the store for three to four dollars a, 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 a thing. Now, online, I just ordered yesterday. So that's why this idea is working for me, for you all, because I just ordered yesterday. Um, they got some for three dollars and sixty seven cents. They got this one that's um pink chevron, I think. It's real pretty. It's like uh holographic silver and it's a pink uh body wash real cute i would get that all 10 of those if i can or five and just mix it up okay get those we're gonna put one of those in each hour basket that's what i feel that'll bring our value up to 50 dollars. and mind you once i sit this stuff in here and i'm about to do this basket with y'all to show y'all how this basket with all the items i showed y'all and this basket with all the items i showed y'all and i'm gonna put one thing in there which is a bath and body work well, or pink. It's going to be bath and body work. Because I got my set says pink. But um, that was just some items that I can show y'all. They got this too. That'll work with them baskets. They got those love um, sponges. They got these. You can put one of these instead of the other sponge I showed you. You can put one of these love uh, sponges in there. They got some stuff in there that you can put together. They got these big pretty um, sponges. I'm going to sit these in front of my baskets. I got to go get some more, y'all. But, yeah, they got stuff in there that we can add two more items to that basket, which I'm going to do and show y'all how to get this basket together, okay? Um, So, we got our shrink wrap paper, our basket, our bears. 
We get out all eight things. I only got six in that basket. I need two more. And that's finna work. Them six are actually work. I'm telling you, we're gonna make this basket make we're gonna get fifty dollars off this basket. Okay. Um, so that being said, back to the bath and body works. They still had them. I ordered some yesterday. If you sign up, you probably already got an account. Make another email, go with one of your other emails. I got a, I got about 10 emails. I got my coupon email, I got my business email, I got about five businesses. Hell, that's five emails right there. But either way it go. Get your Bath and Body Works account. As soon as you sign up, you get $10 off $30. It take about two days for them to email you that coupon. But today is Saturday. By next week, you'll be on Hattie. Um, And my stuff coming Monday. I ordered it yesterday. Some About two cents coming Monday, and I got some coming Tuesday. And I just ordered yesterday, Friday, okay? So it ships out pretty fast. Boom. Um, Next thing is, you got your $10 off $30. So we're going to get 10 of them. It, well, I would, I would recommend you get more if you can because we want to do 20 baskets. That means you're going to have to do 20 baskets. But at the end of the day, you can get your 10 cents if you get them under $4. That's $40. They want $6.99 sh shipping. That's $46.99. Minus that $10 they give you off $30. That's $36.99. You're spending under $40 for it. But <clears throat> we want to spend $40 on that. That's thirty six ninety nine. But I would recommend if you can go ahead and add your extra ten cents. Ten cents. That's an extra um, forty dollars if you can. But if you can't, it don't matter. You can do on the next round when you make the profit off of these ten. Go back in, set up another account. You really saving off the shipping because that ten dollar off shipping is six ninety nine. So you basically get free shipping and basically one of them free if you get one for three thirty seven because that's ten dollars. Okay. So that's what we're going to do with bath and body work. That's $40. Next, we need um, some tool. So we can make us some cute little bowls like this. You can get a roll of tool for a dollar. Um, $2.25 if you go to Walmart. Walmart got all colors in a big roll for $2.25. If you're in Dollar Tree, it has to be this thick tool. Not that little mesh tool. Get this. It can be the mesh tool. Whatever you can find. That's what we're going to get. We want to keep this under $5. This the shredded paper and the wrapping paper but because we got five dollars off at family dollars we can get it from over there okay so all together we're up to what we got our 1741 which we're gonna round it off to 18 for the 20 shrink wrap bags we got our 20 baskets at 25 dollars we're gonna round it off at 28 dollars that's for our um baskets and tax that's 46 dollars right now we're going to get our 20 bags from Family Dollars with our $5 off, getting our tool and our shredded paper or um, tissue paper for free. You ain't even got to have, well, I say tissue paper, shredded paper. You can take some newspaper, fill them bottoms up, and I just use one sheet of tissue paper, put over the top of that, then put some shredded paper. So do, you can, do what you can do with them $5, okay? Um, then <clears throat> next we're going to do our 8 things times 10 baskets. So that's 80 things we need. That's 80 uh, eighty dollars. So that's under two hundred dollars that we have paid for our stuff to shrink wrap the baskets, our stuff to fill the baskets, and you can use new paper, paper, whatever you have. But when I say fill baskets, I mean by the tissue paper and the shrink shredded paper. So we got our shrink wrap bags, we got our baskets, we got the stuff to fill the baskets, we got some bales to put in the basket. We got eight things that we're gonna put in the basket, which I guess gave gave you some ideas of. We got the bath and body works. We got the um tool. Yeah, and that's under $200. That's how much it's going to take to get all of that stuff. Now, if we got those 10 baskets that we ready to make, we, we got that other stuff left over. We got 10 extra bags, 10 extra baskets, 10 extra bears. Boom. We take them 10 ba baskets that we don't put together and make $500, $50 a piece. That's $500. We only put $200 in a really 180 180 you know. So, anyway, we're going to say 200 So, we took them $200. We made five hundred dollars. That's a three hundred dollar profit. We can push them three hundred dollars to the side and take that two hundred, same two hundred dollars we put in there that first time, and do it over again. But this time we don't have to get any more bags. We don't have to get any more baskets, and we don't have to get any more um bears. We just need to get some stuff to fill that stuff with some more bath and body works, which is a hundred and twenty dollars worth of stuff. So we're gonna take out of that two hundred dollars, we can put eighty dollars back over there with them other three hundred dollars. That's three hundred and eighty dollars sitting over there to the side profit that we don't made so once we take that hundred and twenty dollars to fill them other ten baskets 
because we only need the eight items and the bath and body works all over again and we're gonna run that ten dollar back coupon back with another email okay and then that's how we're gonna get make a hundred and twenty dollars we'll put three hundred eighty dollars over there we got a hundred and twenty dollars we're gonna take and make the other two hundred twenty baskets you know that 120 this time gonna make five hundred dollars okay and then once we take out our 120 again or just keep it all in there we already got 380 over there and we finna make 500 that's 880 dollars that at first we only took 200 dollars and then we flipped it again okay so you have made 880 dollars off of 200 dollars that you had once you take that 200 dollars put it back over there you have made a 680 dollar profit all together six hundred and eighty dollars if you go this way break it down like i don't broke it down i'm gonna put the numbers right here on the screen yeah i can do that i i can't do that because i'm foul okay i'm gonna put the numbers up down the screen even though i ain't never did it but i'm gonna calculate this yeah i work it out okay so once breaking it down you took your two hundred dollars you made five hundred and then you made another five hundred okay because we already had bought half of the stuff with the first load we only need the other half so that's why we ain't have to take a note, a note, whole nother two hundred dollars, and we don't made a six hundred and eighty dollar profit. So let's just say we did make twenty baskets, but we only sold ten. At the end of the day, that's still three hundred and eighty dollars worth of profit. Three hundred dollars worth of profit because if you take the two hundred, that's still three hundred dollars worth of profit. You ain't take no loss. Now you take them two hundred dollars. You know that you only got to sell four baskets. If you ain't got four people out there that's willing to support you and buy like a family member, a cousin, four people that can't spend fifty dollars on their soulmate, they friend, they mama, or anybody you can't sell four baskets, you need a hug. I ain't gonna even lie to you, you really need a hug. Cause you ain't got a good support system out there. And it's people that's like that. And I don't have I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. And people like that, I invite a lot anybody in my house. My friend be like, Oh, you ain't got no one stay over there to Tanisha house. It ain't like that, but it's like that. I'm not the kind of person that, ooh, he, he, got, he can't stay over here. He got to go. No, nah, I ain't that kind of person. I, I am a kind-hearted person. I have my ways. Um, But I am a kind-hearted person. I will get you in your place and put you in your place. But when it come down to helping people, I do like to help people. Okay, but I put you in your place real quick. I'll tell you that right now. But anyway, y'all. Um, That being said... I do like to help people and I'm not talking down on people that don't have a good support system or a family that don't want to help them. But if you don't have four family that's members or friends or friends that can tell other friends or help benefit your business, because I'm sure your friend got a job, they got co-workers. If you can't help me, push me out there and help me then, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to get out there study because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But that's just how I feel about it. You don't need to sell four baskets to get your money back. So at the end of the day, it's a lot of running around. You will have to do. You have to go to these family dollars, find your stuff. You might get to the first family dollar. They don't got no bells. You got to go to another family dollar. That's going to take a couple dollar gas. So that's why I said 200 Even though we was at about 180 put that in there for the gas money. Or whatever else end up being extra taxes or whatever. But that $200, you guarantee $880, okay? Why did I, I think I said 1000 at first. I might have to recalculate that. But once I put that up down that screen, you'll understand what I'm saying. I'm going to show you these baskets stuffed and filled. And you tell me what you pay $50 for or is it worth $50. But all together, this video, I just wanted... Hold on, this thing. Dang, I've been talking. I talked too much, y'all. Y'all know I was on live the other day and I talked five whole hours. <laughs> I like to talk. I like to help. Um, and I hope all this talking that I'm doing is, is helping somebody. This might not be the video for you. You might be where you can just go out there and do about three, four trucks or whatever you need. Fill your tables up and, and get your stuff together. This video is for, and then some people, even though you got it like that, you still don't have to go up there and spurge like that. You know what I'm saying? It's the way you can break it down and get it done. That's just like my friend, my sister tell me, like, I'm used to everything I want. I just go pay for it. She like, well, you know, she taught me layaway. I like layaway now. It don't make sense regardless if you got it or not. You Ain't nothing wrong with layaway. It just ain't nothing wrong with it and I like it. I go snatch me up layaway real fast. Now, I just learned that last year. But either way it go, um, I just want to help people that been in my DM and been in the comments that are saddened by they can't find a house. And then it's not that they can't find a house. They might have it, but they just don't have the money to go get it. 
So I want to help people that can't go out there and do them big hauls or didn't find anything to do the hauls, but can take $200 to, to get them started and make some profit. And if you need to show uh, your cousin, your brother, your sister, make them sit down and watch this video and say, Look, listen to what she's saying. Help invest in me so I can get me some money. If you don't have the $200, get $50 from here, $50 from there. But the thing is, you're going to have to go out here and hustle, get this stuff, set up them emails, order this stuff, and you're going to have to take your time and put these baskets together and make them look good. And you is definitely going to have to go out there and hustle to sell these baskets. You're going to have to go on the streets and sit up and sell it, or you're going to have to walk your butt in some gas stations, some beauty salons, some barber shops. You can get these 20 baskets sold, you, but you're not going to be able to just sit around and wait on that money, when, especially if you have to borrow money from somebody. You just can't be dependent on sitting back and waiting on it to come to you, all I'm trying to say. I think I'm, I think I'm talking too much or going, going around the subject. I don't know. I just want to make sure I know that it's, it is a chance for you, and you can get out there and get it. Don't procrastinate. Keep waiting. You know, next year you say you're going to do it, then the next year you say you're going to do it. Just get out there and do it. It don't take nothing to it. Right now, I'm giving you an option where it only take you $200 to get out there and make you some money. And even if you had to break that down and, and happen some of this stuff up, which I wouldn't recommend because the more you get, then the better it is. But um, that's just how it is. Actually, uh, if you think you want to do two baskets, we had our our budget at $100, uh, $80 to $100 to get those eight items for those 10 baskets. You ain't got it like that. We can break this down and make it a hundred dollars. Make sure you get your twenty basket, your um twenty bags. But other than that, you can cut the baskets down to ten. You can cut the bales down to ten, and you can even cut the eight items from eighty. Eight times ten, yeah, that's eighty. You can actually cut the eight dollars. Um, just get enough for two baskets. That's sixteen items. So that's sixteen times one twenty-five. So instead of us worrying about eighty dollars for the Dollar Tree at one twenty-five, we just worrying about sixteen times one point twenty-five. That's twenty dollars so we had a budget set aside for 80 we just need 20 so that take our 200 down we was already at 180 that take us down to 120 so it's no reason why you just got to sit back and watch this money fly by this valentine day season i just gave y'all some options and like i said by 16 i didn't get two baskets go out there somewhere and sell them two baskets put that money back don't buy you no McDonald's. Don't buy you no meal. Don't do nothing out that money. Put that money right back into what you got to go out there and buy. And you keep flipping it and turning it around until you get to that big goal, which is hopefully $1,000, $880 to $1,000. It's ways that it can be done, especially when we take them out, boom, and we take them bells and stuff off. That's actually down to $80. Started with um, $80. Yeah. I should have I should have probably started off with that. But I like the bigger picture, which is 20 baskets. Because you can go out there and pay a bill with 800 some dollars. We breaking it down. Two baskets here, two baskets here. Once it add up, you're going to get the money regardless. It's just going to take you a little minute to get there. But if you out there hustling and selling them bell and getting them out your hands, selling them like you're supposed to, it won't take that long. It ain't nothing to be scared of. It's a thousand people out there in this world that's looking for a Valentine's Day basket. You just going to have to get out there and get it sold, okay? Um, I think I'm talked enough. And I, I'm just hoping I encourage somebody to just go out there and do it. You won't be losing your money. Like I said, you just need to sell four baskets. You can sell four baskets. So as you can see, I've already balled up my construction paper and put it in here. I'm going to go ahead and put my shredded paper that I have from Uline. For those of you that has um all of this stuff down, this is a good basket we're going to go ahead and do. We can all do it together. Well, you know what to put in there. Hopefully you bought your shredded paper from Uline because it's way cheap. It's like $41 a box. But for this specific video, um, my bad, y'all. One second. When I get that shred of paper, I be leaving it all over the floor, and I have to throw it on in the trash. But anyway, well, my flow clean. I could have used it, but I don't want no dirt coming up in this stuff. So there we go. We got our shred of paper. We have our bear. And I love this basket with these pink feet. It matched that pink basket jam up, okay? We have our candy. We're going to use our... One thing, though, I did not put y'all is... um. Well, we're not going to let him hold that. We're going to let him hold the name brand stuff, okay? That's what he going to hold. Um, I did not add a backer in here. I normally put a backer to my stuff and that helps everything sit up 
I'm gonna do that. So you did have a few dollars left in there in the budget that we went over. So you definitely could go ahead and get you a balcony. I'm gonna use this one from Dollar Tree. It matches that pink basket jam up. There we go. So that way we got our some of our stuff to sit up off of. That's too cute. Um, besides that, we're gonna put our body body scrub. So we got body scrub, we got bath salt. Sit y'all butt down. They, they, they trying to fall on me now. There we go. We're going to use our box right beside it because it does match. There we go. I could have put the candy back here and did the socks and stuff up front. We're going to work it out. We're going to see which one worked best for us. We're going to put our makeup removal balm right there and then we'll just stick our bath salt right back in front of it we're gonna put our bear back here sit them down a little bit you gotta dig some of your shred out just to move it out from up under him go ahead and you can actually move it out from up under him and put it back here so this can sit up but i just grabbed some more so that this this stuff back here can sit up off from in front of that so that um so it can sit up so we can see it a little bit behind that bell okay and with me trust me you can take this stuff down it can stop moving but with me i'll be on the move i load this basket up in less than five minutes and it'll be ready to go okay so Next, we already got our bell salt right there. We'll push that back and then we'll put our peak in the front. Move. Oh, yeah. All right. And then, do you see this video, this basket? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. Okay. Really six because, you know, we didn't count these two. We didn't count the bear and the basket because that was already on another side of the budget so we only got six things one two three four five and this balcony makes six okay i haven't counted this yet because you know that's inside of the bath and body work what we're supposed to be doing this gonna make our seventh item put him right there now if you got your bag of candy wait one second y'all I gotta show y'all, we could have did these. We'll do that video next time. Cause you can do that same thing. You ain't gotta worry about all the shrimp wrap and bass and all that. And you can do that to get some money. But let's just stay, stay focused, okay? Okay, so we had seven things with the door. We can add this in, piece of candy to make it eight. There go our eight things. Boom, they got two pieces of candy, thank you. Now, as you know, we had some change that was left over that we was estimating stuff off. Take that extra change, get you a couple of bags of those chocolates to put in here, hold on. We'll use this one because it's pink. They got that other one that's like rose gold color that I like for my rose gold baskets. You a bad bag. You real close to my table. <laughs> Man, I just own the bag of candy. You want to try to get one. Get one. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Ain't See you later, it? See you later. Drive safe out there. Be careful. Okay. Be out there in them streets too long. Call when you get to your house, honey. That was my oldest, my next to the oldest daughter, Day Day. Ain't that something when children see you own up something, they want everything you got. You just finna walk up out of here. You see me own that candy, you want a piece. But anyway, you could get your bag of these, put your cup of candies in the front. Boom, that's it. But because I want to put this in mine since I already got it. That is so cute. And at the end of the day, y'all, that's it for that basket. There, boom. That's it. It don't even need that lending handle, but that's it. So, what do y'all think about this basket? We already had included this in the bell. So, in all, we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That made our eight item. And our one thing that we're going to put in there, and that's going to sell for $50.
And that look good. Once I put that shrink wrap on there and put that bow on there, that tool bow or whatever kind of bow I decide to put up on this thing, it's gonna look real nice on this thing. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey, okay. I'm trying to get it done. Hey, Dad. Hey, I'm doing uh, the video. Oh, you making moves? Yeah. Make one every minute, though. <laughs> moving, huh? Yeah. He said, I made, you made one every minute, don't you? He gets tired of me, y'all. Let's get back to the point of us getting this basket did, and it looks good. This basket gonna sell for $50. If you seen when I was talking to my dad, I put a little, um... A, a hard on there and i hate to keep that in there y'all but i just don't have time i gotta get it out of here i'm i'm good baby so still can match the bell basket match the bell the pink thing match the bell and this pink is not um bath and body works but it still works it definitely still works <laughs> i'm like dad i'm on youtube i don't care about no youtube I said, okay, whatever. But I had to put that little bit in there because I am not going to cut this out, y'all. I am so sorry. But today is Saturday, and I want to get this out here for y'all. And it just take me a little bit too long. Now, some people use it on their phone. Hey, buddy. See me doing this. Now, I'm going to definitely cut that part out. Now, some people do it on their phone where they could just easily edit it. I have a Sony ZV-1 camera. Hey. And it's a high quality camera and I have to take the stuff out and put it on the computer. It's time consuming. So please. I know y'all said that little with that little speech you just gave us was enough time for you to cut that thing on part out. But I'm not gonna cut it out, y'all. I'm sorry. Everything match and it's cute. Now they have colors, like I said, that pink chef run from um bath and body works they had some last night it's a real pretty bottle you can stick that in the front of that basket and it's gonna be real cute but this is actually a set that i have um the way that i don't did it it looks so good like this i don't even have no room to put the set in there but point being said that's how you can take a dollar tree basket and make fifty dollars off of it one two three four five six seven eight nine items in all from dollar tree and then this one thing that i got from bath and body work so that's nine items at 125 just say round it off that's 12 feet to 10 10 items just, just say 13 dollars okay that's 13 dollars that we put plus this just say 15 dollars because i already estimated okay but we don't already did our calculations we're gonna at least sell this basket for 50 dollars with the shrink wrap all that stuff you know, we definitely making a profit. The street wrap, you got 20 bags for $17, so that's less than a dollar. You add that dollar on into that price. Boom. That's it, y'all. You're going to at least make $35 off this basket. And it looks beautiful. Okay, now all I have to do is take my shrink wrap bag, bag it up, shrink it up, put a bow on it, and boom, we set and ready to go. This is too cute. You can definitely sell that for $50. Depending on your state, 60. We know that it's Dollar Tree items in there, but her husband don't know. Her, her, her um, son don't know, you know. It don't. Her mama don't know. Her best friend don't know. Whoever, whichever person getting this basket, they don't know what we got going on. Some people might not even be going in no Dollar Tree. I just start using Dollar Tree when I start doing these baskets. So, you know, you can't say all them Dollar Tree items in there. You never know what a person knows about. It ain't every day that they go in that store and see these items. And I just go in there to get my stuff in the time for Valentine's Day. So, some people don't even go in Dollar Tree. They don't know what we got in this basket. This basket looks like $50. We're going to sell it for $50. You can probably get $60. That's probably overdoing it. But this is a $50 basket. As long as you got some bath and body works in there or some Victoria's Secret. There you go. You just made a $35 profit. You made 10 of those. Your profit will be $350. And that's the profit. That's the, I already I already don't took the rest of it out. The whole thing total would have been five hundred dollars. We'll make five hundred dollars if we had ten baskets. But the profit gonna be three fifty that we made ten baskets just like this. And it ain't gotta be just like this. It's other items that you can pull together to make this basket look good. Because I don't talk so much, I don't have so many interruptions. I don't think I wanna go ahead and do that other basket on camera. But then again, just to show y'all, and I hope y'all don't mind. And I wish I can cut that out, but I had a party today, a big old party I got to do. I had already told y'all on my live the other day that I do have a party I got to do this weekend. So I don't have the time, and I'm sorry. Now, let's do this one. As you can see, we're going to match this up. 
Same little roses. And I like I said, and look at all that. I be putting this stuff together. I got this from Walmart, 25 cent. Um 90% of um while um holiday stuff most of them don't put it up but mine still got they stuff in the back they trying to get rid of it and i went in dollars um family dollar yesterday y'all picked up a whole bunch of christmas stuff and they was a penny you know she told me she wouldn't even sell it to me the manager wouldn't sell it to me somebody they can't even get it i said y'all just low down in here honey last year they let me get all this stuff so what's the difference this year either way it go we gonna take this basket get it started i take my you already bought your tissue paper. You already got your tissue paper for them free five dollars we had at Family Dollars. That's not me. We're gonna use that tissue paper. We're gonna put our uh, balled up construction paper, newspaper, pool noodles, anything you can think of to put in the bottom of this basket. I'm gonna ball it up and I ain't gonna do it on camera because it's loud. We're gonna ball that up, put our shredded paper on top and we're gonna do this all over again. Let me get this paper. All right, so I bought up four pieces of um, construction paper. I put my shredded paper down, and I'm gonna get a backer. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Let's see, we are gonna go with the Hello Love one. I got a lot of them over there. I got some from last year I had, and I got these from this year. And when I'm doing this red, when it looked like I would've did a, um, a red basket with it, let me see if I got some pink over here. No, I got some pink, but it is what it is because I don't see where it's at, y'all. I have to dig down at the bottom. We're gonna go with that one. This one, I'm gonna add this in. Let's get all the stuff in here. They can't really see the balco, but it's okay. Most of them you can't see it. I mean, I'm pulling my tags off too, y'all. And I need something over here to hold that up. And that's going to be this. I'm going to put it somewhere. Right beside the love. I'm gonna go with this same pink bell because him cute with that. Um, did I have one more thing? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more thing. Well, not the basket in that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got our eight items already. This one's not as full. Let's do our dove. And I counted that as eight. Let's see. Now we have. Let's see. And these videos in real time itself when i just bought that paper it takes less than five minutes to make a basket not gonna lie to you if you have your stuff already out but and i'm also gonna switch out this backer i did go and get my um i knew i had a red one over there a pink one I don't know. I'm actually gonna keep that red in there because I got my red lips. I got that, and then now that I see this falling down to the back, I really don't. Mm -mm. I'm gonna wait. Next time I get some tape, tape this here so it'll stay just like that. They can untape it when they get it home. But so far, y'all, that's all for our baskets, and I still have not even put our valuable item in here, and it look good already. Right now, we only have, we're not counting band the basket. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. We're going to put this right up in here. And we can really take this, um, take something out. We can take that hard out. We really can, but I'll keep it in. That's all it is, y'all. 
that's our basket what y'all think about that for $50 what y'all think about that okay um I'm liking it let me put some shredded paper so he can see it up all right y'all that's it that's it for our basket if i wanted to i can put one of these in it i don't want to cover up my heart over here all right y'all there we go that's a 50 dollar basket for me and like i said we just put one thing in here i broke it up but it is a set and i did just break it up now when i put it in the set together had i put both of them in here i would have asked for 75 dollars and i am gonna put two together and ask for 75 dollars but as you can see both of these look good I could have even put a longer sponge, anything. They have these. Um, put my tool bowl on there. Like I said, we could have used this. If you can't find this cup, you could have used that. Like, it's so many things out there that you can get easily to put in this basket. And we only need those eight things. Plus our bag and our basket. Boom, that's ten items. Ten, ten dollars at one twenty-five. You know what I'm saying? So, twelve fifty. But the bear and certain stuff ain't a, it's only a dollar anywho that's it for these two baskets that i just made and i made both of them with under 10 minutes that's all it takes all i would have to do right now is wrap this up and go on outside somewhere and try to sell it okay that's it y'all put a little hard stick on here that's also good to have let's give me a little sticker That's it, y'all. There go our 52 $50 baskets. $100 sent right here that we took less than $30 to make. $70 profit. If we did 10 that's $700, okay, in profit. Boom, bam, by the slam. Y'all have any questions, please comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Don't be worried about this realness that's coming in on these videos. I know that people saying they enjoy my videos and stuff like that, but enough is enough. I don't want to be too real, y'all. I don't need my dad in here talking about his headache and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, this is real life. This is how I'm making my money, and I'm out here trying to show y'all these videos to give y'all as much inspiration as I can, especially for those that was saying... They just didn't have it in their budget. Don't think because I'm out here buying sofas and living rooms full of stuff that that's what it takes to start your business. That's not what it takes. That's just what I have. That's definitely not what it takes. You can start out way smaller, okay? And that's what the purpose of this video was for. To let you know you don't have to have your tables full like this to start. You can start and do one basket at a time if you had to. You're going to sell, okay? Everybody want to buy something for Valentine's Day. So it's not like... You know, I'm going to be stuck with it or something like that. You can go out there and sell it. So, I hope I haven't talked too much in this video. I always say that because I talk too dang on much. I talked for five hours the other day, y'all. And I enjoyed myself on that live. I can't wait to do another one. I hope y'all don't mind and want to do another one. But, yeah, because I talk y'all blessed to death. But there we go. There go two crude baskets. I'm going to wrap these up. We can do it in tool or we can do it in... I'm going to do it in shrink wrap so everything stay together. But, all right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. Success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down. My